welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to do this video. I have had this pen for a month or so now and it's just been sitting on my desk. I keep telling myself maybe if I don't open that pen yet since I don't I don't really need to um it'll help me not buy any more pens until the following month because I'm I'm really trying my hardest to not buy pens so often I'm like maybe one pen a month but I mean even that that's that's a lot you know so I'm really trying my best here you guys so I did hold off for about a month and then just recently I bought a pen and I'm like oh my gosh I didn't even get to open this one yet and it's already here so yeah anyways I'm really trying um but okay we are gonna unbox this finally I don't know what I was honestly waiting for um but yeah, I am excited about this pen. I already um, peeked at it a few times because I wanted to open it so badly. And now it's, now it's the time. It's, it's time. So as you can see, oops, upside down. It is from Sailor Shikiori. Oh my goodness. When I saw this pen, I was like, I... I love it. I love it so much. And then I watched a video of it and it just really drew me in and like the meaning of it all and everything. So here it is. It is the fifth anniversary um, Minori pen by Sailor. And I just love the meaning of it, how they designed the pen and everything. So here's the little fan plit that kind of like tells you about the pen. It's just, oh, and it comes with ink and everything. It's, it's stunning. So here you go. If you would like to pause it to read it, here's that. It's just so beautiful. So it comes with that. There's also this envelope that has all of the um, instruction and warranty. And then this little card, it's, really beautiful you guys like oh my goodness i cannot get over this okay and here she is isn't that just stunning so you have the pen the converter and the ink it's just all so beautiful i love this so 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 much so let's go ahead and open the pen because oh you have to see it you have to see it Again, I've already peeked at this, and every time I'm still like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to use it. I'm so excited. I get to finally actually look at it. Like, I can't, you know, you can't really see the nib through the cap. So I can't wait to just really take a look at that. Oh, just so beautiful. So here's a close-up of the pen. I hope my camera is doing it justice because it is really beautiful i love this so much so i believe it starts like this so start it off with right here and the barrel is this light blue color so it says here rice planting with water and sky reflected on the water that is why they chose this color and then the clear as well how beautiful is that right and then after planting, oh, look at that. You get the green, which, you know, is growing rice ears under sunshine. So, so, so beautiful. And then the cap is this beautiful, transparent, like clear cap with beautiful glitter. There's glitter, like it looks like it's two layers because there's glitter underneath as well as on the top it's really pretty and that's supposed to symbolize rice planting with water and sky reflected on water it's just it's so pretty and i love rice so <laughs> when i was like watching the video i think it was from yoseka um it really just drew me in and I fell in love with it, with the meaning and everything. It's just so, so, so beautiful. 
and the nib on this is 14k gold and it's medium fine i think that's the only um nib size that's available which is fine i love medium fine nibs it works well in my journals and also in my hobonichi weeks so it's really really good and the converter right here i think it's beautiful that they did this because i actually only buy the light colored converters from them because I found that some of the Sailor pens that I have are not super opaque. Like you can kind of see through the barrel. Kind of how this is. You can kind of see like a shadowing in there. So I always find that I I don't want anything with the black. So I ended up finding one I think on Amazon. I'll pop it right here. That's the one that I have in mind. Either that or just an empty cartridge. That works perfectly too because it's not so intrusive. So when you see a shadow in there, it's not completely black, if you know what I mean. It just kind of helps with it. So I really love that they made the converter for this pen, this color. I mean, you can see right there, this isn't totally opaque. It's like semi... Um, translucent in a way um so i really love that they thought about this i think that's awesome because that's that's the details that you want right like again that's what i always thought too with my other pens that's why i would buy the other converter versus the one with the black i think this area is black for the other one um so yeah, I would definitely pay more for the other color. And then also I found the empty cartridges as well. That's not as intrusive. So I just really, really like that. And oh my gosh, I can't, I can't wait. We're going to ink this up in a little bit. I'm going to flush it out really quickly before doing so, I think. Um, and then this is the ink that they have to go with the pen. And I think... What's the name of I think this is just called Minori, maybe. I'm not sure what the name of this is. whole concept behind this is preparing soil for good harvest. So this ink starts off as a green and it turns to brown. It's so awesome when I saw how that works. I was like, wow, that's beautiful. And it's honestly a shade that I actually really, really love. It reminded me a little bit of Pilot Uroshizuku Inaho, but then it dries into this beautiful brown that you guys know. I love brown inks. Love, love, love them. So I was like, this is just definitely calling my name. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch that and then um, ink the pen up. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Also, I wanted to mention that Minori means bountiful harvest in Japanese and also this is clearly not a pro gear slim which really I was like I love that because I don't have anything from Sailor that's not a pro gear slim I have the pro gear slim and a pro gear slim mini so I was like I need something different so I love that this is I believe like the 1911 one correct me if I'm wrong I, I feel like I should know but I don't I really don't know um, but I love the shape of this it's actually really pretty I do have a ballpoint that's the shape of this but i don't reach for it as often because i'm not a huge ballpoint type of person i like more of a fine um you know a finer line and finer writing and stuff like that anyways okay let's get into swatching this beautiful ink i have here my midori cotton paper and that i have swatched a few other sailor inks there and I'm just gonna go in, you guys. So I have here my uh, watercolor brush. This is the Rhapsody Round Sable Brush number four. And I'm honestly just gonna, gonna go right in. I'm gonna do quite a big swatch right here just because I really wanna be able to see it change colors. Look at that. Let me zoom you in a little more. Isn't that just beautiful? And you can see the green and it's supposed to change into a brown color. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And you're going to see it with me. I'm so, so, so excited about that. Okay, let me get my glass dip pen. I've gotten a lot of questions about this pen. It is from Amazon. I will link it below. I love that it has a cap, so I'm not going to, you know 
break this because I had a normal glass dip pen before and I was always scared I would break it. So I love that this one has a cap. I do need to file this down because I'm starting to notice that it's not as fine as it was before. So anyway, so this is the Sailor. See, it's not as fine. She, he, 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 five. And it's Minori. And I'm already seeing the changes. Look at that. It's definitely changing to brown, looking a little bit more golden. Wow, you guys. That's so beautiful. I cannot wait to use this in my journal. This is definitely my type of color. It's perfect for fall <laughs> and even winter really. Oh, um, actually, you know what? I would use this all year round. Who am I kidding? Like this is something I would use all year. It's just so pretty and oh my gosh. It's like changing before my eyes. I love it. Wow, you guys, do you see the sheeting in there? Do you call that sheening or shading? I don't know. Again, this is like, you know, I'm learning as I go and I still don't really know the terms and everything. So yeah, please correct me. But um, wow, 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 wow. Do you see that? Wow, oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. Look at, look how this is drying. It was green. Now it's more so brown. Oh, look at that. You guys, this is awesome. All right, let me ink my pen. I'm gonna put ink in the converter. I'm just gonna use one of my, um, one of these guys. What are these called? I forget what this is called. My, you know this, this thing. Because I don't wanna dip my pen. <laughs> so, okay. You see the converter right here? I'm not gonna fill it all the way up too. Just just a little bit. So this is how I'm gonna put the ink in the converter. You know, I'm not really in frame, but that's okay because I want you to see the the ink that we swatched there on the paper more. But there you go. You guys, what? That, I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed. Okay, let me putting the converter into the pen here. It just really just snaps right in there. I'm nervous. Okay, it's in there. It's in there. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Wow, I love that there's brown and then the edging is like green. But like right here, this is mainly what, you know, you're going to have when you're using your journals and planners. It's a beautiful brown. I love it. I want to say I don't have anything like that, but I could be wrong, you know, like I definitely need to like test it out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so, so, so excited. This is, this is great. This is so great. All right, you guys. So it is completely dry. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Look at that. That was beautiful. And my pen is ready to go. So here we go. This is the Minori fountain pen. With medium fine nib. And I am loving it. Oh my goodness. That looks really good to me. 
I don't even know what to do. <gasps> it's so smooth. Wow. I'm very impressed. I'm sorry. This is amazing. This writes so smooth. It's kind of hard to write at the end of the book here, but wow. Okay, what's today? Today is November 2nd. That is beautiful. I am going to be using this in my journal this month, I think. This is, I think this is the color that I want this month. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna switch things up, but you know, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this brown. Why is this so good? You guys let me know. This is beautiful. It's such a beautiful brown. I hope you can see that. Wow, I'm so impressed. I love this brown. I love that it starts off greenish and then it just dries to this beautiful brown, almost like a beige, like it's really beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so excited about this. So excited. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my unboxing of my new sailor pen. I am so happy with this purchase. Oh. So happy that this is my first um, pen that's like this. Oh my gosh, I wish I knew what this is called, 1911. Please let me know. But I'm really excited that this is in my collection. I think it's just so beautiful and the matching ink is stunning. I can't wait to use it in my journals. I'm so excited. Let me know your thoughts below. Is this something you would get? Let me know. Um, what do you think of the pen? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and like so delicate. The glitter. Oh my gosh. All right, I hope you find this somewhat helpful. Let me know your thoughts. I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And yeah, all right, thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.